is Shani and today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 eyeshadow palettes for the fall time. It is now September which is crazy and um, I'm excited for fall. It's a little different of course with everything going on but I'm still excited and I wanted to create this video and just include my top 10 fall palettes. Palettes I'm excited to reach for for this fall season um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy please let me know down below what palettes you're excited to use in the fall time it's also inspiring me to look through my collection maybe not buy too many palettes um but use what i have so let's just get right into it so i'm gonna start off I actually broke it up into five and five because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on five palettes in September and focus on five palettes in October. So that's how I'm going to show you. Um, it's basically just so I can shop my stash and not get too overwhelmed with ten palettes. So first I'm going to start with what I'm focusing on in September. So first I'll start off with what I'm wearing right now. It is the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace Cosmetics and Mel Thompson. I absolutely love this palette. Let me just show you quick. It's it's just such a pretty color scheme, this palette. Ooh, forgot I had the little thing in there. But today I used um, Love Bug in the crease. Then I used Scarab on the lid. It's like this beautiful like duochrome, multi-chrome type of shade and then I use Bugaboo and Spider, these two deepest tones in the outer corner. So I really love the look that it, you know, created. I just feel like there's a lot of cool colors in here and you can really create so many different types of looks. And maybe this doesn't scream fall to you, but I really like the deeper greeny tones. This is more of like a pastel green, but these like some deeper neutrals in here. Some more grungy toned neutrals and I just feel like even the pinks like even these pinks and purples are still a little more different and maybe more jewel toned than bright and colorful and rainbow type of pinks and purples so I don't know I just think it's really cool basically I want to focus on it in general but I think it could fit the fall color scheme as well so absolutely love the formula in here and I just want to use this like all the time. It's just so amazing and the bug theme too, I guess, you know, you think of it more in like the spooky month. So love this one. So definitely going to focus on that. I used it today. I also am wearing this Beauty Vault Volte lip liner. I thought I'd mention it in Cozy Kira. I got this in my BoxyCharm two months ago I think maybe for July and I like it it's pretty nice okay back to palettes so another palette I'm going to focus on is the Sassy Sienna from Dose of Color this is actually new to my collection I found it at an antique store brand new and someone was just trying to sell it <laughs> in this store I went to so here it is it is so pretty there's five mattes and I thought it would be really perfect for fall or like almost transitioning into fall because there's these two pinky tones that remind me of summer but then there's these neutral tones that remind me more of fall so it's kind of to me a really perfect transition eyeshadow palette from summer to fall so I think this will be really cool and I will love to maybe use some of the other palettes shimmers because I like shimmers in my eye looks so I'll use these mattes and then dip into a shimmer somewhere else. But I do really like this palette. I really like the formula. I've used it once before, but I like Dose of Colors formula. I know I already like it. So yeah, I'm excited to get more use out of this one. It is pretty new to my collection. Um, next is the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette. This is so gorgeous. I really love the color scheme of this one as well and this is a beautiful formula very pigmented and there it's just very cool it's supposed to be inspired by the different sunsets around the world and I love that I think the red orange yellow tones are really nice and fitting for fall especially these like browns and 
reds and um, I don't know the blues and the green and the gold here are just kind of there to spice things up and I think it'll be really nice I've used this once so far you know as September started and I'm really excited to dip into it more just because it is again and I think this one's pretty new to me I think I got it in May but I haven't used it, it a ton so this is really exciting and I can't wait to use this more Next one is the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place. I actually just ordered, they have a summer sale going on and I just ordered a ton of palettes from them so I need to stop ordering palettes but um, I'm excited for those palettes to come in. Stay tuned. I'll definitely be posting about them, I'm sure. But this is such a fall color story. I feel like I don't reach, I haven't reached into this in a long time. But I love the purple, the, these like grungy greens, the orange, uh, this green up here, this is like brownie greens, I don't know, they're just really, it's just a really unique color story and I think it'll be perfect for fall and maybe if this is kind of confusing me, like this color story can sometimes confuse me a little, I could reach into other palettes and see what I come up with. So I just love Juvia's Place. This is not my favorite palette from them, but I do want to get more use out of it and I think this month is the perfect time to shop my stash and use these awesome palettes for fall. So love that. And then the last palette for September is the So Jaded uh, Colourpop and Kathleen Lights palette. This There's so many colors in here, but I think this is a great palette for transitioning into fall because there's some, you know, maybe summery tones like that you could argue are summery, but I don't know, there's these like greens and these dual tones and purples and blues and definitely a lot of the warmer tones remind me of fall and I just feel like there's so much versatility, like you could do so much with this palette and I've used a lot of these shades but I feel like there's still so many possibilities with this palette because there's so many shades so can't wait to dip into this one as well now let's get into um october palettes that i'm gonna focus on i have the tartlet toasted this is such a fall palette for me it is like your basic neutral palette but i absolutely love it and i keep it in my collection because i feel like i just know i can trust it and I know that they it works really well and some of these warm tones I just gravitate towards when I'm feeling in the mood. I feel like I love colorful shadows but I really really like neutrals like this certain times of the year like fall. And again, <clears throat> excuse me, Whew. again you can use any color eyeshadow at any time of the year but I feel like fall is the time to kind of reach for, at least for me, I like to reach for these warmer tones, and for the rest of the year, I don't use this palette much at all, so I want to use it, and I might eventually hit pan on some more. That would be awesome. So here's the Tartlet Toasted that I thought I'd include. Next is the Anastasia Subculture Palette. This is such a classic. Love this palette, and I think it's so grungy and interesting for fall. I love the greens. I love these interesting like burgundy and mustard and purple here. Like there's just a lot going on and I think the color story is, the color scheme is so unique and I just really wanted to pull it in for fall and I think October is going to be perfect because that's, I don't know, I think more spooky season is when I'm totally feeling these interesting colors. So, love this guy. Love the Anastasia formula as well. Next is another Juvia's Place, and it is the Tribe palette. This was in my recent um, August favorites because I absolutely love this palette. I think the color scheme is gorgeous and very unique. These greens are a little more summer-leaning, I would say, but the orange, um, some of these neutrals, and like these blues and the gold, I feel like it's very much fall and it's just a more colorful version of some of my fall, what I would assume is a fall palette. So I don't know, I think this is really cool and I'm excited to get more use out of it because I just really enjoy it. I basically threw it in here because it's very interesting and 
I think these are some of the tones I like. I like greens, and I think greens is also something like people do reach for in the fall time. So, love this one. All right, we have two more. The Urban Decay Born to Run. I don't know if this one, if other people are gonna agree with me on this one, but I do think this is an interesting fall type of color story. Maybe not the blues and the greens and the purples, but definitely the fiery, like orangey, neutral tones that are in here. And I think this just gives me a lot of options that I never really reach for this palette. So this is kind of a reminder just to help me reach for it and maybe fall will help me do that. So here is uh, Born to Run from Urban Decay. I think this is a really cool color scheme, so we'll see. I'll try to use it for fall and see if I can come up with some cute looks. And lastly, I have my ColourPop Singles, and this is not really fall related. It's mostly just for me. Like, I really enjoy my ColourPop Singles, and I kind of want to give them a break like I've been using these a lot and I kind of want to use the other five and then in October revisit this palette maybe create some cool looks with these greens and the blues and you know this is not I don't think this is very much a fall color scheme but I just know I'm gonna miss it by the time October hits so yeah love this one as well and I have a whole video on my ColourPop singles if you want to see which ones I have in there. Definitely check that video out. And then some honorable mentions before I go. I So those are my five palettes for, uh, for September and then my five palettes for October. And I hope you enjoyed those, of course. But I do have a few honorable mentions that I might throw in there. Not so much like I need to focus on them, but just as a edition. So I have this little uh, duo from Jewel Smith Beauty. It came in my Ipsy bag and I think jewel tones are a very popular thing in fall and I feel like these are kind of jewel toned and I think this is something I want to grab occasionally and use with like maybe some of the mattes and some of these palettes. So it's in Wise Guy and Gold Mine. So that's something I want to reach for, or maybe even like my Kaja Beauty Bento. This is in Chocolate Dahlia, and maybe even just reaching it, reaching in to it for this top shade as a inner corner. Um, if the palette doesn't have an inner corner, or like the transition shade, maybe if the palette doesn't have a good transition shade. So I might throw these in occasionally, as well as these Elf Bite Size eyeshadows. These two I think are really going to be great for using in the fall. This is Truffles. I absolutely love this palette. I have a look on my Instagram, Shake Up Makeup Shan. Check me out there. Um, using this palette and I think it's really, really pretty. Like I love the quality so far. And then I also love the Pumpkin Pie elf bite size eyeshadow and I just think these two this one especially is gonna be so fun to use in the fall so yeah I I definitely want to use these ones and quickly also this is my Lorac princess eyeshadow palette and I'm been using this just to use up this shade right here it is a color that matches my skin tone and I use it all over my eye to set my concealer as an eye base so that I'm going to be pulling in as well to finish it up because this is kind of like a top 10 uh, fall eyeshadow palette video but also like I'm shopping my stash kind of video as well. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'd love to hear which palettes maybe you own of the ones I mentioned or what palettes you're looking forward to using in this new season. I just think new seasons are very fun, especially during this time I like to focus on makeup and <laughs> and um, yeah, I just love it. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!